What's up at you? For today's video, we're the full Chingling Evolution team. Super Bowser, this one is for you. So we got Chingling and Shimeko. Not exactly what you call the strongest Pokemon. one. This was a tough video to get content for. If you want your own custom theme team or Poker one sweep, you become a Patreon at patreon.com slash pimrite, or you can become an elite member to my YouTube channel. If you were wondering if you want to skip the queue and get your themes done or your sweeps, let's get into this video. We have four battles today with the Chingling Evolution team. First battle here, this one is against Finn. This is a random battle on the Poker Portal, and we got a Palafin lead. So my first Pokemon, Chimeco, is my probably my most reliable sweep here. And, and when I say reliable, I say that pretty loosely because it only has 95 base and special attack and 65 base speed. So it, 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 you, as you can imagine, it was tough versus competitive. Like even a even a team that was a mean team was difficult to get a W with as well, or even just a, a, a close battle or entertaining battle, right? So you can understand um, how difficult this was. So we got the uh, Palafins doing the flip turn there, which is fine. I managed to get a Calm Mind up, which is pretty good. Now, Cinderace is going to go bit of Malice. I was like, that's very, very sus. Extremely sus. And then I figured out after seeing that move, it is going to be a Zoroark Hiss away. So that's going to be fainting in one shot, which is great because that was a clean counter to my team. Now, Chingling and Chimeko, uh, they've only got one ability, and that's Levitate. They've got nothing else, which is pretty rough, to say the least. Uh, this Chimeko is a Calm Mind, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, and Terror Blast Fire Set. Life Orb is the item, and we've got Max Speed, Timber Nature, and Max Special Attack. Unfortunately, Psychic is going to come in and take me out, but it was the best I could do, so I, I, I took one Pokemon out. So I'm like, alright, this is this is not going very well. I thought that said defibrillator. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully, I, hopefully I'm not going to need a defibrillator after this battle, right? We're going to try and stay in here and get the W. If you enjoy the theme teams too, people, and you want to support the channel, make sure you hit that like button as well. And is there anyone out there that truly loves Chimeco and Chilling? Is it your favorite Pokemon? What do you think of them? Put it below in the comment section. I actually am really interested if anyone's actually... Yo, is this your favorite Pokemon or very, very yo, highly liked Pokemon? I, I think they're pretty cool Pokemon, but they really, they, they need something. They need like, not, an evolution or some sort of rework or buff or something like that. Anyway, this is a true Pip Knight special set here. This is a Terra Ghost Chingling. Now, I got to try this in its fullest extent. So we had this, uh, with this interesting Palafin set. It had uh, Encore, and it also had Hydro Pump and Charms. So it was like a some sort of like meme set, which is pretty interesting. So this is a wrap. Uh, you got to wrap before you tap, and we got this Curse and Wrap set, right? And we got Protect. So what I'm going to do here is go for Terra. I'm going to cut a couple of Curses up uh, first, and then I'm going to go Terra Ghost. Now, at the start, I thought this might be a physical Palafin, right? Because most of them are uh, physical, and I thought it would be good to get some Curses up. But as i seen, it was a special set, so I was like... All right, well, what I'm going to do is go for Curse, Terra, Ghost. Now, when I go for go, uh, the Ghost, Terra, and then I go for Curse, it'll actually, instead of uh, boosting my defense and uh, attack right and drop my speed, it'll uh, put a Curse on the opponent. And that'll actually stack up with the wrap damage. So I thought if I'm able to somehow stall this out, it'll be really, really funny. So here comes a Hydro Miss and it landed. And I'm actually able to live that one fairly well. Now the EVs, if you are wondering here, if you ever want to try this incredible Pit My Special set, it's absolutely terrible. It is max health and max special defense bold nature. So if I wasn't running the fattest special defenses uh, stat, I would have fainted there. And of course the item is going to be ever light. So it was amazing, right? I I managed to live on another Hydro Miss, and I got that uh, I got that Protect up. So with the Curse and the Wrap damage, that was going to be enough to take out the Palafin, and they couldn't swap out either because of the Wrap. So it was, it was Galaxy Brain, right? Now, that's going to be the end of the, the Palafin there. They're going to die to the Curse, and that was perfect. Like, that was the best case scenario I could show you uh, with this Chingling set. That was probably the best example I, I had. Like, I guess a pretty uh, scary Pokemon, too. Uh, next Pokemon, we got the Moped. It's going to come in here. It's, it, it, it's, it's going to rev it up. I can't do much here. I thought I could go for Protect, but I was like, you know what? I'll go for Curse again. They may try and set up. And they went for Shift here. I was like, ooh, okay. That's interesting. I thought they may um, try and go for a Shed Tail. So I thought that might be a better plan going for Curse, you know? Uh, anyway, so they boosted their speed and attack. 
I've put a curse on uh, on them, which is good. I mean, that 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 was really good. I, I could not have squeezed any more out of that Chingling. So I've got two Poco remaining here. I've got one more Chingling and one more Chimeco. Uh, things were not looking good, though. I'd only taken out two Pokemon. So I was in, like, really, with this team, you were at a huge disadvantage from the start of the battle. Next up, we've got... Well, this, is a, this is another Pit Ride special set. It's absolutely terrible, which is why I wanted to use it. So we've, <laughs> we've got this... Um, Oh, damn, that U-turn that U hurt too. I like to use shift gear U-turn. It's my favorite set. Anyway, so we've got this uh, Citrus Berry trick, uh, trick Room set with Last Resort. So as you can imagine, this is a Terra Normal Chimeco. Well, if you can't imagine, you can now see it. Uh, this Chimeco, it's got Curse, Last Resort, and Trick Room. And we've got, um, I, I ran I ran with a couple of different items here. I ran Silk Scarf, Citrus Berry, and also sort of play with White Herb as well. But the item I found that was probably the most effective was uh, Citrus Berry because it allowed me to get the Trick Room and the Curse up. So he comes hit him on top. I'm going to go for a Curse here. I guess I expect him to attack there. Uh, I mean, let, let's be real. I don't think many people are going to expect a, a Curse Last Resort. <laughs> like, it's attack. Like, it's a base attack. It was like 50. So it was like, it was terrible. So I've got Curses going up here. I'm thinking, let's go for Last Resort. Let's see how much it's going to do. So hit him on top. Hits you with a uh, Sucker Punch. Good damage. But I've got a couple of Curses up here. And we dropped it almost. It was so, so close. What's this called? Cap Caparira. I'm, I, I think these are another language here. I want to say... I'm going to get... I, I bet I'll get this wrong again. I want to say... I want to say it's French. Okay, I'm probably wrong about that. And, you know, people are going to be roasting me in the comments. But anyway, it, it is what it is, right? Last Pokemon we got is Chingling. And you, you're probably thinking, man, how are you going to get around these last, like, four Pokemon? So we got this bulky Chingling. Now, hit one top frame for a Sucker Punch, which is really good there. Because that allowed me to get a free Cosmic Power. Now, this has the ability, the most sweeping set on my team. This chart, this Chimeco. Sorry, this Chingling. And I'm going to try and get a sweep with this as well. Because it had some really good moments. So let me explain what this is. This is an Everlight set, of course. We got Cosmic Power, Stored Power. Great little combination there. Uh, recover. It gets Recover, which is a really, really nice uh, move to recover your health off. And we also have on here Charge Beam, too. So I can further uh, boost up my special attack. Say if I come across like a Dark type or something like that, I, I, I need some sort of backup. So I'm getting the Cosmic Powers up here. Now, it seems to me that Hitmontop can't do donkeys, right? It's gone for Triple Kicks, Gyra Ball. Uh, you know, all that sort of stuff. It can't do anything. I've really, really got them pinned down at the moment. And I've got enough boost here to pretty much live uh, any attack. Even that Cinderace, I feel like, when it comes in, I'm going to be able to live those attacks really, really well. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get Cosmic Power boost up so I can increase the power of Stored Power. So this hit on top is doing nothing. The only thing I was a little bit concerned about if I did get critical hit. So like any of these real bulky sets with Cosmic Power... Especially if you're using a Chingling, right? It makes it difficult. It's you know, one crit and it's virtually over. Um, unless you've got the speed advantage. In this case, I don't. I've, I've bumped everything into bulk. So let me give it that EV spread. We obviously have max health. I've got max health and max defense. And I've given it calm nature. So I made it a more defensive uh, at the start. So the idea is swap it into a defensive Pokemon. Set up the Cosmic Powers. If they do swap, you're still going to be bulky on the special side anyway. Thanks to those boosts. So I'm getting up my recovers here. Uh. Hitmon Top has hit me about 2,000 times, which is fine. They're going for a Gyra Ball, got a quite quality 2 damage, and then I got a Charge Beam off here. Now, the last couple of Charge Beams were really cool because I got some special attack boost. So, even I found even with six Cosmic Powers up, Stored Power really wasn't super powerful. Like, you'd probably like a two to three hit KO, but you know, with a couple of special attack boosts, that changes everything, right? It was hitting like an absolute truck. Uh, the Terra type for this as well was Terra type Poison, if you were wondering. I I'd opt between that or Psychic. The reason why I went Poison, because some people um, that I came up against would go Toxic on it straight away, and you know, it was cooked then. I, I, I wasn't able to get my, uh, my sweep. So we've got the uh, Cinderace coming in. They went, interesting enough, they went for a Terra Water, and they went for a Pyra Ball. Pyra Ball, that <laughs> did nothing. And Chimeco is absolutely going to dominate this team now with Stored Power and Cosmic Power. So uh, I, I guess the person I was battling against was probably, I, I, I'd probably be laughing too if a little uh, you know, little bell started using Stored Power. Anyway, so we got the Rotom Fridge coming. I just opened the fridge a while ago. You know, I, uh, I, um, I opened that fridge and I seen uh, there was lots of food in there. So I, I grabbed the food and I, I ate it, right? Who has those midnight, who has those midnight snacks? Be, be honest, you know, you get up at night time, 
you know, you're looking around or you, you do what I do, right? You go to the fridge, look in the fridge, shut the fridge door and then don't get anything out of there. And then go back to there two minutes later and <laughs> do the same thing. Does anyone else do that? I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm the only one that does that, but there's got to be some other people out there. Anyway, so we got the uh, last Pokemon here. Um, you know, U-turns, it's best move, right? Unfortunately, I got confused by the Rotom. So I'm trying to get some, I'm trying to store power because stored power is going to one-shot this cycle are easy. So I had a couple of U-turns here and then I hit myself in confusion twice in a row. It's like, uh-oh. Um, now they're going to start setting up shift gears. All right, well, I know that I'm going to snap out of confusion very, very soon. Either it be this turn or the next one and then I can start attacking, you know. Uh, I would have probably been worse if they started setting up uh, shift gears then. So I got a short power off and that is going to be the end of the Psychazer. And that's it, people. We had a clutch reversal with uh, Chingling. That was incredible uh, comeback there. I, I definitely wouldn't have beaten them without that for sure. Thank you for the battle there, whoever that was. Flynn, if you ever watched this video, I hope you are uh, and like the, Ching, uh, the Chingling and those terrible <laughs> giant Echo and Chingling sets. I hope they gave you a good laugh. Let's get on to battle number two here. Uh, we have a Ampharos lead. Now, this is a random opponent too. They seen my team of the pre preview, right? And I guess they thought, well, th this team's going to be, you know, it's going to be pretty weak, right? It's only two Chimekos and two Chinglings. So they brought three Pokemon. So anyway, I just thought I'd give you a bit of background there. So uh, we got the Ampharos setting up a screen here. I set up the Trick Room. Now they're going to withdraw Pluffy. And we got Moskatera. Mos Moskatera. Okay, all right, fair enough. Uh, so we've got a curse up here. So this is Serena. So we've got Ampharos and Serena, and there's one more Pokemon on the team. They brought a team of three. So I got a Defense Rise here, which I thought was pretty good. And after that, um, I had White Herb on this one, by the way. I... After after having White Herb and Citrus Berry, it definitely worked better without it because it would get rid of that um that speed drop, you know what I mean? And I needed that speed drop to go first. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this was this was brave. Yeah, this would have been yeah, this is brave nature. So max health and max attack, brave nature on now uh, this. Uh, try Mecha set. So we had a swap there with Serena. They couldn't really do a lot of damage. I actually just went straight for Terriers. I, thought, I went for Terra Normal because I thought if I get enough curses up here, depending on what Pokemon they bring, right, I could try and get a last resort Chai Mecha Suite. Like, it's... It's going to be nasty, but I'm gonna just going to go for it anyway. So I've got that last resort up there. I don't have Silk Scarf or anything like that. And uh, Ampharos gets absolutely dominated. So I was like, man, that's good. This is really, really good. Um, I was thinking about uh, this Serena having like high jump kick and then came Gallade. I'm like, oh, that's... You know that's going for a fighting move, right? So they went for a little Timmy Terra here. And I was like, okay, is it going to be fighting? And it turned out to be Fairy. I was like, okay, fair enough. Now, Gallade's defense isn't really the greatest in the world. So, like, this is going to do, a, like, a good amount of damage, right? You know, with Terra Noble and, and, and Curses up and stuff like that. And Gallade gets dropped as well. So, like, wow. Are we going to get a mini, uh, a mini uh, Chimeco sweep here? A, a physical one of all things, too. And we've got Serena as the last Pokemon. The Trick, uh, the trick Room has worn off, too. I'm not even going to bother resetting it. I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to attack. Uh, Serena's gone for a Trailblaze, trying to boost its speed, probably for my last couple of Pokemon there. Um, I, my other Trimeco uh, would have probably outsped it. And I just went for last resort here, as best I had, and that was enough to take out the Serena. So we got a physical... Ch <laughs> physical Chimeco sweet. Thank you, Lycan, Lycan Morpa, for the battle there. I hope you enjoyed that set. And uh, yeah, I, uh, maybe I reckon probably maybe bringing six Pokemon would have been probably better there for sure. But uh, you know, it was really it just worked out so well, right? Next Pokemon battle. This one is against Leeton, and we have a Hoot Hoot Lee. It's not often you get to see the mighty Hoot in battle, but uh, I'm glad I get to show you that. Also, people, if you're enjoying yourself so far and you want to support the channel, you like these videos. Please leave a like on the video. It really does help out. And uh, drop a comment below. It also helps out a lot when I get a lot of people saying, I don't see your videos at all, you know, even though you're uploading. Just just leave, leave a like on a comment. Otherwise, YouTube would not show them to you. It's just how it works now. Um, I can't change that. I wish I could. Anyway, so I just got murked by a hoot hoot. <laughs> Probably not ever going to hear that anywhere else, apart from Pinwright's channel. And uh, we got this Chimeco going for a Psychic, and we're going to drop that Hoodoo in one shot there. Man, that Hoodoo was uh, was powerful, you know, that, that massive, ginormous, thumping Brave Bird. Uh, next Pokemon we got is Knocked Out Way. This is some sort of theme team, I think, with all the birds. So we got this uh, this dual 
bing, bing, knocked out. Hits me twice, right? And then it flinches me. It's like, yo, what's, 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 what's going on here? So I got hit again by another dual wing beat. So two hits, right? Like, okay, I can finally attack this thing with uh, Psychic. And I got flinch again. This was so lucky. They rolled King Drop twice in a row, only on two hits. There's a mega, mega luck there. So that's the end of both my Trimechas. I'm thinking, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what I can do here, you know? Maybe I can try this uh, Terra Ghost one out. We, we, we might be able to do that. So I'm going to go for a wrap here because you need a wrap before you tap. And then I could go for a Terra Ghost, dodge the um, dodge that body slam, and then take this knockdown. So I went for a, uh, a Terry. I absolutely had to. I thought, you know, if I don't... I don't think I need Terra Poison on my last Chingling if it comes down to it, which it probably will because... Uh, this is not going to be able to faint multiple Pokemon. Absolutely not. I mean, you could have Recover on here. That could possibly work if you had Recover. So, you, you know, you could go for that Curse and then Recover back. But it's simply not bulky enough. Just even with, like, Everlight in the right investment. You'd have to go maybe have, like, Cosmic Power. I don't know. You, I think it's possible if you had, like, Cosmic Power, Recover, Curse or something like that. But maybe someone can play with that set. But I believe that would work if you, if you built it like that. Uh, anyway, so we got that uh, we got that Curse on the Knockdown. So I thought, all right, this is a good opportunity to send in my last Chingling and try and set up these Cosmic Powers for a uh, stored power swing. So the other move knocked out hey, was Zen Head, but it's another flinching move. I'm like, don't you dare. And they didn't get a free flinch thing, which is good. So I got a Cosmic Power, which is very, very good. Maybe they expected... That would have been bad if I went for Terra Poison there, because that would have been super effective. So I'm glad I didn't do that. Uh, now they're going to go for Dual Wing Beat. It's going to miss. So suddenly the uh, the RNG is going my way a little bit, allowing me to set up my Chingling here. And uh, we're going to try and uh, get that set up as much as possible. Now, also, coming up for videos, uh, tomorrow I've got a couple of moveset guides on, the, on some starters I haven't done. Friday, we've got a, a brand new Pokemon Sweep. And um, I'm going to try and get this, chi this, this Chingling here to sweep as well. I'm sure that I can do that. Um, I did it against some really competitive teams. So I'll try for that for a double sweep on Friday. But I've definitely got one ready. And then Saturday, I'm not 100% sure. But um, I've, I've got some good videos coming up after the next couple of days too. Just for uploads and stuff like that. Um, Mid-April, I'll, I'll start to have like my you know near daily uploads for videos as well as streams as well. Just if, if you're wondering, I know the uploads have been a little bit... Uh, um, a little bit uh, spread out, spreads in lately, but after April or mid-April and stuff goes, um, I'll be back to my you know, almost near daily uploads. Just, just thought I'd uh, um, let you all know about that one. Uh, anyway, so we got another knockdown here. It's a, it's a Hoot Hoot Evolution team, and I'm going to be going for a store power. I don't think I've ever done a Hoot Hoot Evolution team before. That's, uh, I guess, that's one of the many that I still have to do. So I'm going for stored powers here. I'm absolutely destroying that knockdown. Uh, Ash just knocked out, and we got one more Hoot Hoot left. So I'm like, I wonder what this set is, you know. Oh, it's flying as well. It looks so good. It looks that looks so much better flying like the animation. Anyway, so we got a Terra Hoot Hoot here. <laughs> Probably never gonna see this again in your life. And we've got a Terra Psychic Hoot Hoot. I'm like, no, this is bad. Because stored power is gonna do donkeys. I'm gonna need a lot of them up. And it also has a fixed damage move too, which is bad, because that's gonna get around um, my cosmic power boost. So I'm like, I don't know if I can beat this hoodoo. You know, this this hoodoo could be too strong. And now the hoodoo is gonna go for calm mind. So it's got calm mind and it's got nightshade. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what sort of set this is gonna be. So I'm trying to get a couple of recovers up here. I managed to get all of my health back, but. I need, I need to get a lot of boosts up for stored power. I need to get some, ch maybe, charge beams up as well, like, to actually try and do something. So, Hoodoo's going to get two car mines up here. This is very bad, because stored power is not going to do a lot of damage now. So, I'm going for stored power this turn. Obviously, I got outsped, and you can see how little it did. Now, I'm versing a stored power uh, Hoodoo. So, like, ah, but that didn't do anything either. So, in fact, when you look at it, my damage was greater than Hoodoo's, but... The Hoodoo still had Nightshade, which is going to do like um, 50 of my health every single time. But at least I could have an idea of how much it was going to do. So we pretty much were going back and forth here with Recover and Nightshade and Charge Beam. I had to get my special attack stat to max. And then I was going to go Cosmic Power. Because that way I'd probably be able to overcome the Mighty Hoodoo then. So I'm going for Charge Beam here. I'm really trying to get a special attack boost. I, I got a couple there, which is good. And I'm trying to get the Recover off. Because if you have a look how much I'm recovering, 
15 healthier. So I was trying to get to like back to, you know, 115 health. That'd be really good, which I almost got after like two of them, right? As you can see, I've got back 41 health there. Then I went for another recover. So I could just estimate with uh, level 50, right? So there you go. I've got, I, I can lift two nightshades. It was very, very easy uh, to see how much I had left. Now, as you can see with the special attack boost, stored power is doing a lot more damage there. So I could go for a, a confident stored power on the last hit and take out the Hutu. And what a crazy battle that was. A really Really, really cool team there. A Hoot Hoot Evolution team. One day I'll do that team myself for sure. And uh, thank you for the battle, Leighton. A a, a, once again, an equally difficult team to use too. Like these, um, people always ask me why I use only four Pokemon for. I like to use two of them and that's it, of the same Pokemon. Uh, that's usually what I like to do. Uh, last battle here. This one is against Mega Me. And we have a ginormous, thumping, throbbing Scatterbug lead. And it's going to be using Stun Spore on my Chimeca. I love being paralyzed turn one. You know, so much fun. So we're going to go for uh, Trick Room here, which, you know, that paralyzer is going to help out in terms of speed and I was worried about this <laughs> it's got pounce so Grandpa Fred is going to use pounce on my Chimeco now that's actually dropping my speed I had White Herb too at this time I, I don't know I, I still didn't have Silk Scarf I think I I did like I like to do my theme teams I like to experiment a lot with the items and stuff like that and then the ones that perform the best I'll just adjust the item you know uh, anyway I, I digress so we're going to go for a last resort on the uh, on the Scatterbug <laughs> Probably never going to hear that sentence in your life again. And we're going to keep going for last resort here. I got critted by Pounce. Like, Pounce, real talk, was like a five-hit KO or four-hit KO. And I went for another last resort here. I'm getting pressured by a Scatterbug. Like, real talk here. Look, look at this. I don't want to lose to a Scatterbug. I have to quit Pokemon forever. So we're going to go for a final last resort. And Grandpa Fred is finally going to have a rest there. So that's uh, that's good. Uh, this is like some... Oh, this is like a... Uh, if you're a real avid viewer of my uh, of my streams uh, my streams and stuff and uh, like a member to my YouTube channel you understand the same it's like this Pokemon family team right so the next Pokemon we've got is uh, Bibzak and it's uh, we, we've got a hop up here he's gone for a switcheroo it's like what item is it going to give me I'm already paralyzed so this got to be interesting and it gave me a toxic orb so the hop up like literally got rid of its item so I'm like is this a acrobatic set or something like that uh, it's also got a uh, toxic on it so I thought is it facade and acrobatics is that what the set is anyway Anyway, so the hop going to go for a trail blade. It's blazing it. Uh, it's got that Herb of Mystica. Um, it's got a little bit of toxic damage as well. So I can go for another last resort. Uh, another Trailblaze. Trailblaze is getting its speed up, but it actually failed to take me out on the second one. And Last Resort is going to drop that hop -ip in one shot. So I've taken out a Scatterbug. I've taken out a hop -ip. This is going swimmingly. First border is going... <laughs> First spawn has come out with an Astonish. That's just mean. So that's the inner Chimeco. I fainted to Astonish. Next Pokemon. Remember, imagine if your first born uh, child was a, was a, was a Diggly, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, it was like this, this small little, uh, it has like small little face with a, uh, a little nose on there that, you know, used fissure on you and stuff. Anyway, so I kept getting flinched by my first born. It kept kicking me all the time. I don't have kids, by the way. Um, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm wrapped now. I'm, I'm giving my uh, my first born a hug, you know, in rap, you know, giving my first born a hug. I'm I'm very, I'm very excited and ecstatic that it just got bored. So I'm going for protection here. I'm not going to even comment on that. And anyway, um, no. so we're going to keep, uh, we're going to keep using Rapier, trying to get some damage on this, uh, on this little Diglett at the moment. Now Diglett is continually going for Astonish. I'm thinking maybe it's got some other flinching moves on it. So I'm going to go for a Terra Chingling against a Diglett. Sometimes you just have to do that. And I thought if I go for, um, if I go for a Terra Ghost. I know that Astonish is going to be super effective, but I can use my curse strategy on this Diglett. Now, I should be able to take it out, you know? So here comes the mighty Astonish. It's super effective. I was hoping for no flinches, and curse is going to faint me here. It actually did over my half my health. However, the uh, it's going to have a curse on it. So uh, that's uh, curse on the Diglett. And I can probably use my next Pokemon to set up it. Maybe my next Chingling. So the firstborn has a uh, has a curse of uh, you know missing moves and stuff all the time. Next Pokemon here we got is Chimeco. This is probably the uh, most solid set on my team that doesn't require anything at all. And uh, we got Magikarp. All right, Magikarp. What what is Magikarp going to do? It's going to be a Focus Sash set. I critted it. I don't think that mattered at all. Uh, I think this magic up is, uh, you know, coming up with evil, uh, evil schemes and stuff to you know, disrupt my Nuzlocke's and troll. Anyway, so I outsped the magic up, which is lucky because I know that it was going to use Flail there, and uh, that is going to be the end of magic up. So we've got three Pokemon now. Next is going to be Bebchi, which is Lychee, and it's going to use a Sunny Day. So I'm like, oh, this is 
bad. Like, this is a bug type. What can I do here? So, I'm going for Psychic, and Psychic's doing all right damage. Like, it's about a two to three hit KO. And now it's going to go for a Quiver Dance. I'm like, oh, oh no. This is this is bad. I'm about to be, uh, I'm probably about to be swept here, but I'm trying to think of the weakest bug move. Struggle bug? Anyway, so going for Psychic number two here, and it's going to be able to live that, thanks to the Quiver Dance. And it's also going to be eating a berry, which is going to be a citrus berry. Uh, it should, you know, it should have been a lychee berry. Anyway, I got dropped by Ember. I knew that it was coming. I, I smelled a, I smelled a rat. I knew, I knew Ember was coming my way. Anyway, Chingling's the last Pokemon. It's gonna go for Ember, and I just, there's no way in the, this wide world I can set up Cosmic Powers, right? This Ember Volcarana is just simply too strong. That is the end of the video, people. I hope you enjoyed this fun meme team. Drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.